Doctor Who the Invasion, Episode 3, Warehouse, Packer. You, don't, you really don't learn, do you? This is private property, a restricted area. Jamie, where's Zoe? Where have you taken her? Packer, be quiet. Jamie, look, we heard them scream. If you have heard her. Packer, I said be quiet. Jamie lunges at Packer, gets thrown off into a wall. Vaughn, Packer. You must try and control this violent streak in our nature. Packer, although I must admit the situation is provoking. So here you are again. You really are beginning to try our patience, you know. Jamie, and he's beginning to try mine. Dr. Jamie, Jamie, we came here looking for two friends of ours. Vaughn, two young ladies, yes. Jamie, so he admits they were, they were, they were here. Vaughn, correction, they were. It would seem that they've been chasing each other's tails. They came here looking for you. So the where are they now? Vaughn. Why they left, of course. Jamie, you your eye cut it off by two of your thugs. A box, Vaughn. Oh, really? Jamie, oh, look. It, look, it's true. You heard him scream and I saw some of Zoe's clothes trapped in the lid. Vaughn, you really do have a very fertile imagination, young man. Jamie, no, so listen, you. I am... Telling, I'm telling you, I definitely saw those, those, Jamie, Dr. Jamie, Jamie, it would be set on our, our minds at rest, it would set our minds at rest if we could take a look inside these bo- those boxes, Vaughn, well, then we sh- you shall, pack out, I presume the only crates going out here, or the empty ones being returned to the factory, pack out, yes sir, they're loaded now sir, Vaughn, well, now, then you shall expect them, Vaughn, and then you should stop. You shall respect them at your leisure after you. Dada, how kind Dr. Jamie and the guards leave. Vaughn gestures to Packer and leave. Packer speaks to his risk communicator. Packer, this is Packer. Get the return van moving immediately. Do you understand? I said immediately. Outside the White House, the freight train rattles down, off down the line. Vaughn, oh, it's too late, I'm afraid. Such a pity. Still, all is lost. I'm going. I'm. I am myself going to the factory today. Would you care to join me? We can meet the train on its arrival. Doctor, well, that's very civil of you. Vaughn, my pleasure. Aeroplane brigadier. How long ago did you? They go in. Brenton. Some time ago, sir. Tracy followed them as far as the official barriers, boundaries of the railway sidings. They went in about an hour ago. Brigadier, is Tracy still around here? There. Brenton, yes, sir. Brigadier, right, stick around for a while. Brenton, just a minute, sir. Brigadier, yes, what is it, Brenton? Brenton, the doctor and the boy, they're coming out, sir, with Vaughan. Vaughan, Jimmy gets the roll, into the rolls through the back door, held open by the chauffeur. Then, at the other side, into the passenger seat, just before Packer got, got to it. Brigadier, Brenton, what's happening? What's happening? Brenton, oh, sorry, sir. Nothing, they, they've got... They've all got in Vaughan's private car. We're driving off, sir. Brigadier, is any force being used? Brenton, no. Not that I could see. Packer was there. It looked very friendly to me. Shall we follow? Brigadier, no. I have to be, I have them tracked more discreetly. Oh, and out, Sergeant Waters. Waters, yes, sir? Brigadier, alert. Air, all area patrols in Section 3. Waters, yes, sir. Brigadier, do you hear all that, Jimmy? Waters, I did, sir. Brigadier, look, we'll get you aboard a chopper. You can revenues with a tur- turking agent. Waters, all right, sir. Are there any specific instructions? Brigadier, no. We're trying, we're, we're, no, we're playing a bit, a bit by ear for the moment. So try and keep out of trouble. Should the doctor contact us for help? I have your signal relayed straight to you. Waters, right, sir. Well admitted into the E. A I E compound. The guards look up at the sound of rotors overhead. Helicopter Turner. They've just gone into the A E area, sir. Shall I follow? Airplane Brigadier. No. Circle the area. We don't, can't really do anything until we get a quick question of the doctor. Turner, standing by, sir. Brigadier and Jimmy, keep out of sight. If all the private army see you, you might well get the wind up. They might take make things rather unhealthy for the doctor. The boy over and out. If the guards present arms to Vaughan, when they arrive at the building, go in. 
They walk along the narrow corridor into a lift. Jerry, hey, what's happening? I thought we were looking for Zoe and Isabel. Well, all oh, in good time, young man. The train and the empty car, great car, will take some time to get here. In the meanwhile, I'd rather like to talk to you. Dot was like, oh, really? Well, yes, those circuits you gave me, they're rather fascinating. I'd like to know more about them. The lift arrives at its, de- at its destination. Call it Vaughan. This way, gentlemen. Doctor, thank you. The doctor and Jimmy walk ahead. Vaughan, back up, be good. Fellow, and see Professor Watkins. You finished, will you? Packer, very good, Mr. Vaughan. Vaughan, you might offer him a little encouragement. Come on, come in, gentlemen. Packer heads down to the floor three with a big grin on his face. Vaughan's office, Jamie. Hey, Dr. It's Vaughan. Confusing, isn't it? Jamie, it's exactly the same as your office in London. Vaughan, it's all um, all the basic essentials, is it? Yes, it is. That's the secret of my success, you see. Unformality, duplication, and uh, entire empire based on that principle. Very essence of business as, as efficiency. Do sit down. Don't over it, how kind. Vaughan, I must say I'm rather glad we have this opportunity to talk. Don't it really? Vaughan, I should, of course, be angry with you. You afforded my elaborate security precautions twice. I'd like to know why. Dada, oh, that's quite simple. I hate computers and refuse to be bullied by them. Vaughan, your young friends, I mean. Jimmy, well, what about her? Vaughan, she appears to have some instincts. So the same instincts. She's confused one of my computers. Yet she, she ruined his memory store. Jamie, so that's why your thugs dragged her and Isabel away. Vaughan, my dear young man, I wasn't angry with her. On the contrary, I found the incident rather quite amusing. She's a remarkable girl. Are you not know? obviously a man of no mean scientific ability. Doctor, what do you mean? Why do you say that? Vaughan, oh, my research department found he's quite fascinating. There's totally logical factor in the contraction. Are they of your own invention? Ah, you determined to guard your secret, I see. I can't blame you. I promise not to pray anymore. In fact, I do I will do all I can to help you. Doctor Oh, how kind, Vaughan. Now you say you came here looking for for Professor Watkins, because you thought he might be able to help you. Doctor, yes, Vaughan. Then I will try to persuade him to put aside his work and concrete concentrate his efforts on your behalf. Make yourself at home. Vaughan leave, Jamie. Hey look. You're not going to trust him, are you? I mean, what about Zoe and Isabel? Don't know, I haven't forgotten them, Jamie. Jamie, they're in that box. I'm sure of it. Don't Jamie. We're not going. To, uh, we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to help Zoe by annoying Mr. Vaughan, are we? Jamie, I don't think you could annoy that man, even if you wanted want to. You're being as nice as pie, Doctor. He's too nice, Jamie. I. But why should he be? Why should he be? Doctor, I don't know. He's a little bit too interested in those circuits in my, in my liking. Jane, how do you think he knows about the TARDIS thing? Doctor, well, I don't see how he could do. Jane, I don't know. Well, perhaps this Professor Watkins will be able to tell. That's what's going on around here. Doctor, yes, that's what that was worrying me. Jamie, what? Doctor, well, if Vaughan was to have anything to hide, why is he let us talk to Watkins? Laboratory. Packer, I think about it. I think about it, if I was you, Professor. I know she's a pretty girl. It's a shame to spot all that. Wilkins, what a vicious sadist you are, Packer. I don't believe you anyway. Packer, I don't make idle threats, Professor, as you all know. If you want to see that girl again in one piece, I just you do as the master of all arts. Wilkins, how do I know you only haven't, well, haven't harmed her? If you have got her, for all you can take my word for that, Professor. What? What, kids? Your word? I know much more. How much I can value, like, I can value, I can, can place on that. Born harsh words, Professor, harsh words. Any progress? So you haven't yet completed the machine? Watkins, no, and I don't intend to. Vaughan, oh, I think you will, Professor. Much as I detest violence, I will find a difficult to restrain Parker. Um, it is super talent for persuasion. Your niece is not in our, in our custody. Unless you go do, unless you do as I ask, as you'll hand it over to Packer. The choice is yours. Watkins, if I do cooperate, we let her go. Watkins, oh no. She's our guarantee. She'll come to no harm. Watkins, all right. 
But I must see Isabel first. Well, well, of course. Oh, there is just one thing. Don't look at me suspiciously, my dear professor. You may just... There are some friends of yours that w- w- wish to see you. Watkins' friends? Oh, yes. They're going to great, they're getting to great pains to seek you out. Watkins, but I haven't even been allowed this since I came here. Why well, should I consider it? I might tell them anything. Everything. Don't well, ever think, my dear professor, you know nothing can, that can harm me. You know nothing that can harm me. Besides, there's always Isabel to consider, isn't there? Well, Parker, oh, would you rather leave her to me? Well, no, now, Parker. Professor's going to be, do exactly as we ask, aren't you? Ron's officer, Doctor and Jamie, are looking out the picture window. Jamie, there you see? Doctor, yes, Jamie, I can see. Let's have, take, have a closer look at that, well, shall we? A doctor uses Jamie as a support for his telescope. Dodo, well, just hold that still a moment. Keep your shoulders still. That's odd. That's very odd. Jamie, what is it? It looks like a flat flying bell, which is a neat trick for me in London. Throwing those golf balls no longer exist. Doctor, well, it looks like a deep space radio communication system. What's it doing here? Jamie, don't ask me. You're you're the brains. Hey, look, a helicopter. Could it be the Brigadier's lot? Doctor, yes, I could be. Jamie, shh, there's something, someone coming. Packer enters. Packer, come along. Airplane, Walters. Hold on, sir, he's just here. Sir, it's Captain Turner. Brigadier, yes, Jimmy, any news, Turner? No, sir, not a sign of them. Brigadier, now, right, stay in the area. We don't make a move until we hear from the doctor. Over now. Laboratory. Well, Kings, yes, of course I remember Anne Travers telling me about you. She was a student of mine, you know, some years ago. Brilliant girl, brilliant. Doctor, yes, yes. They went to America, didn't they? Watkins. Oh, Travers was getting past it a bit. You know, and then Anne persuaded him to go to America with her. Doctor, oh, yes, Dr. Watkins, what are you doing here? Doctor, well, it's a long story. Vaughn's office, Vaughn. This strange doctor's been on that, another planet. Packer, Packer, but that's not possible. Vaughn is a fact, Packer. He has some sort of machine that lets me see if we can, can, can learn more about it. Shall we? Which one Packer would sound? Doctor. So we went to see Mr. Vaughn. He said he was looking for us. <coughs> something to report him. Packer, see. Oh, that's why you want to leave them alone together. Well, oh, exactly, Packer. Laboratory, Jamie. But Doctor needed some help on some electronic circuits that TARDIS needed. Watkins, really? Jamie, aye, aye. No device in a wall moves, Doctor. Jamie, Jamie, I don't think the Professor wants to hear about, hear about that. Watkins, on the contrary. What well, Anna told me about the Dark TARDIS was most intriguing. I'd like to hear a lot of, more about it. Dr. Professor, I think I should warn you that Anne Travers followed her imagination, allowed her imagination to run a little wild. What could you mean to say there's no such mean machine? Jamie, of course there is. Dr. Jamie, I think there's a more, other more important things to talk about. At the moment, the doctor's gone to one side of the equipment rack and is pointing the not, a not very hidden camera. Jamie, oh, I see, yes. Dr. Professor, tell us about what you're doing here. Watkins, oh, very simple, really. I was developing a new kind of teacher machine. Doctor, yeah, oh yes, a teacher machine. Jamie, what's, what's it called? Watkins, I call it the celebration mentor. Jamie, oh, I. Watkins, the only difference from the other teacher machines is able to do some emotional changes to the subject. Jamie, oh, oh, the doctor puts a small magnet on the camera. Vaughn's office, the picture it was replaced by static. Packer, has it broken down? Vaughn, let's check. Vaughn switches to other cameras around the compound. Vaughn, all the other monitors are functioning. Packer, yeah. Vaughn, our friend the doctor's resourceful man. I wonder why allies fear him. Packer, our allies know him? Well, no, yes, I was ordered to destroy him. But first I must learn the secrets of destroying machinery. Packer, if you've been ordered to destroy him, 
Vaughan, I don't take orders, Packer. I give them. Now I take the time. Now I think the time has come to stop playing games with the doctor, laboratory, Watkins. Well, what can we do? As you, if you, you say, uh, have Isabel and your young friend. We're totally at their mercy, doctor. No, not entirely. There's my friend, the brigadier, remember? Watkins, do you think he can help us? But, but, to possibly, but quickly tell me, what is Vaughan up to? What's he doing here? Watkins, I know no more than you do. He's a ruthless man about morals and principles. His object is, I'm sure, is to get a, a complete control of the electronics industry. The world, doctor. I wonder if a, a nasty feeling is aiming somewhat higher than that. Jamie is listening at the door. Jamie, doctor, come quickly, someone's coming. Vaughan enters. Vaughan, don't bother, Doctor. Allow me, you're very generous. I'm a simple magnet, I congratulate you. Doctor, oh, how kind, Vaughan. However, you must surely realise that it's false me to consider our other methods. Make you talk, Jamie. What are you going to do, Vaughan? Your friend's are due tomorrow, right? It's shortly. Jamie, so you have, you've got her. You, so you have got her. Listen, if you harm her in any way, Vaughan, You may still be innocent enough to make iron so frets, young man. I assure you, I'm not. I want your trouble machine, Doctor. Otherwise, I shall hand your friend Zoe over to Packer. It's a simple choice, and it shouldn't take you any longer than an hour to consider. Take them away, Packer. The girls hand the man to hand over the Doctor and Jamie out of the room. Doctor, all right. Jamie, all right. Packer, leave them to me. I'll take them. Perko leaves. Vaughan. Now, Professor, as yes, you continue with your work. Corda. Doctor, oh dear, you know, Jamie, I've always been rather scared of lifts. Jamie, why? Doctor, I never even like to start, start them. You have to push the button. Jamie, me? Packer, keep your mouth shut and do as you're told. Doctor, yes, Jamie, do as you're told, Jamie. Oh, I, yes, I see. Packer, be quiet. Let me step in the lift. Doctor Packer, Mr. Packer, I obviously can't get you, can't let you hurt Zoe, so you have to tell you all you, all you want to know now. Packer, you mean you're willing to talk? Doctor, yes, I'm sure about Mr. Vaughan. Will, oh, there he is now. Packer turns, the doctor pushes him away. Jamie, quick, doctor. The doctor gets into the lift with Jamie, her doors close. Yes, Doctor, your knife, Jamie. Huh? Doctor, your knife. Give me your knife, Jamie. What are you going to do? Doctor, I'm going to try and break the circuit. Jamie, what will that do? Doctor, it will uh, uh, stop the lifting. Uh, uh, I'll send us out of control. Jamie, we're only six floors up. We're, but we're six floors up. Don't know, we have to take the risk. Hold tight. Here we go. Doctor pulls the wires and the panel and hears a bang. Vaughan's office, Vaughan. How, why would you... Why are you so gullible, Packer? Packer, just wait till I get hold of them. Ah, oh, Vaughan, you do nothing. I want them in one piece, Vaughan. Packer's whisk when you get buzzes. Packer, Packer here. Have you got them? Well, what happens? Stuck? How? Oh. Well, get on with it, man. The lift is stuck between the fourth and fifth floors. Vaughan, so I gather, Packer. Packer, it's obviously a mechanical fault. Wait a minute, he did it. Oh, yes, Packer, your clever doctor has well witted you. Oh, then they wouldn't be too, that wouldn't be too difficult, would it, Packer? Well, I wouldn't be, well, I don't do him much good, will it? After all, he can't go anywhere, get anywhere, can he? Well, not, then why, then, but when? Well, but then why do it? He might be playing with me, but I doubt it. Left doctor, there's 50 50 chance, you know, Jamie. To me, yes, that, w- what, that was good. Uh, what good has it done? I mean, we're stuck here. It's lift now, Doctor. No, no. It's a lift, if it's a lift stuck, not us. Look, Doctor points out the emergency exit on roof. Jimmy, hey, where does that lead to, Doctor? Out into the lift life, life shaft, I imagine. Quickly on my back, Doctor. Jimmy, you know something. You will cover we chappy, Doctor. Jimmy. Corridor packer into comms switch. 
Over to the emergency circus. I want you to want lift operations in three minutes. To God, I want all exits covered. I man on each floor move. The guards move quickly. Vaughn, don't panic, Packer. Our birds can't fly away. Lift shelf. Jamie and Doctor climb into the roof. A lift and look up to the access ladder. Doctor, thank you, Jamie. Oh my word. Well, that's a long way up, isn't it? Oh well. You better get cracking before they realise what's happened. Perhaps I'd better shut this. Jamie, I. The doctor closes the lift, la- lift hatch. Jamie, hey doctor, I've been thinking, what happens if you get the lift going before we get to the top? Doctor, oh, that's simple. Jamie, what, what? Doctor, doctor, we get squashed. Jamie, well, what? Well, come on. Cordo, Packer, sir, right. They switched off the circuits as so though it's just working. Well, now, spl- how splendid. Bring it up here, Packer. Bring it up to sixth floor. This shaft, Jamie. Hey, that's not what I, uh, what I think it is. Hey, is that not what, Jamie, hey, what is that? Is that not what I think it is? Dada, very much afraid it is, come on. Jamie, you'll never make it. Dada, yes, we will, come on. Let's stop, Jamie, what's happened? Doctor, it stopped, they must be checking. Come on, they may guess where, where we are and come after us. Gordo, Packer looks inside the lift. Packer, they vanished. They just vanished, warm. Check the other floors, Packer. This is Packer. Check all the lifts, exits, and get me in here. Hello. Yes, did the lift stop at any other floors? All the way up. Is certain? Right, the genuine engine certainly is certain. Vaughn the turf terminates in the roof, doesn't it, Packer? Packer, yes, sir. Well, Vaughn, why didn't you think of that? Packer, I let, I get them. Vaughn, call me what, you, so call me when you do, Packer. I, I'll be in my office and don't let, don't fall this time. Don't fail this time. It's good. That's a good fellow. Vaughn Lee, Packer. This is Packer. Get some men on the roof. They're still in the lift shaft. No, don't take the lift. There are two mates. The two might still be in it. Be in it, Pauls. Hey, wait a minute. I'll take the lift. Tell the engineer to take it right to the top. Lift shaft. The doctor and Jamie pass a panel complaining. Kill virus here. Jamie, another before, Doctor. They studied it again. Doctor, hurry. Jamie, hurry. Rooftop, the Doctor and Jamie call and exhausted out of the lift. Service door. Jamie, come on, Jamie. Doctor, come on, Jamie. Jamie, wait a minute, Doctor. Doctor, oh, come on. Let's see where we are. The Doctor looks over the edge of the building. Jamie, now where? Doctor, down there. Jamie, oh, no. Doctor, we can't go down the lift again, can we? Hello, there's a fire escape. Come on. My <coughs> 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 Vaughan's office. Vaughan, I'm um, Packer. Oh, Packer, you do disappoint me. Packer, they must have been got down. They must have got down the fire escape, sir. Vaughan, and of course, you didn't think they could have a guard on that? Packer, well, normally, Vaughan, you stupid incompetent. I want the doctor. Put them at home compound on alert. <coughs> Have every available guard on the job. Find him, Packer. Find him. Freight wagon. The doctor and Jamie hide between two carriages as the guard passes by in alarm sounds. They climb up into AE marked freight wagon and close the doors. Do they mean, do- hey, doctor. Do you think this is the train that Zoe Isabel came on? That it could be. Dr. Vaughan said that they had one, had empty crates on it, didn't he? So, yes. Jamie, well, we soon see. Let's look inside. The other crate contains some muslin like material. Jamie, oh no, there, there is a fall. Packer, I want all those trains searched from top to bottom. Move. Dr. Jamie, hide, quickly, hide. Jamie goes, Dr. goes outside. Jamie gets into the crate. It is opened. Crate. Packer. You two, search this one. Jimmy looks on in horror as the material next. Uh, looks on horror as the material next to him moves. <laughs>